hello welcome to your learning channel today i have come up with this reading and writing practice today's topic is national tea day preparation task so first we will try to understand the words which are used in this article we will find their definitions from this definition list here we have a kappa a kappa means option b is correct a cup of tea in formal british english a kappa means a cup of tea option b is here for kappa to brew to brew means to develop flavor in hot water to brew number 2 e to develop flavor in hot water to provoke to provoke means to cause porcelain porcelain means a hard white substance used for making cups plates etc option h for porcelain to withstand to withstand is to be strong enough not to break option a to withstand means to be strong enough not to break option a an an affair an affair g an event an affair means an event here to enrich to enrich means to improve the quality of to improve the quality means to enrich okay sustainably sustainably means in a way that can continue for a long time sustainably so we have learnt and matched these words with their definitions now i am going to read this article for you so you can understand national tea day if you ever spent time in the uk you will surely have had a nice cup of there is tea for breakfast tea during break time tea when visiting a friend's house tea to wake up tea to relax you get the idea tea even gets its very own special day in the uk 21 april is the uk the capital of tea in short no while drinking tea is certainly a century old centuries old tradition in the uk many countries have their own strong cultural practices involving tea The nation which drinks most tea is Turkey where a 2013 survey showed that people drank an average of 10 cups a day this was followed by Ireland with the UK coming in third place other countries with an obsession with tea include Iran Russia and Morocco it is also a popular drink in China and India where most of the world's tea is grown what do the british consider to be tea many forms of tea exist around the world green tea is popular in china and japan in india tea is often prepared with spices and boiled in both water and milk and tibetans commonly drink tea with butter and salt in the uk tea is typically a variety of black tea and can be prepared with loose tea or tea bags it is made with boiling water allowed to brew for about for about 5 minutes and then mixed with a little milk and possibly some sugar and thus the perfect british cup is ready milk before or after the tea this is question despite the fact that tea has been popular in the uk for hundreds of years the question of when to add the milk is one which still provokes many an argument most people first pour the tea into the cup then add the milk but others disagree it is said that this was a way for the rich to show off their wealth they often drank tea in porcelain cups it and it was only the better quality porcelain that could withstand the temperature of very hot tea 
This meant that people who had lower quality cups needed to first pour the milk so that the cup wouldn't break. What is a tea party? Many cultures have traditions of people meeting to sit together and drink tea. For example, Japanese tea ceremonies can be formal, elegant affairs which last for hours in the UK. Such gatherings range from formal to very informal. The most famous British tea stereotype is probably after afternoon tea, where people dress formally and meet in hotels or cafes to enjoy tea and cakes all served on beautiful fine porcelain nowadays going out for a formal afternoon tea is rare and people will more often simply have a nice cup of tea and some biscuits with friends or family catching up around the kitchen table what happens on national tea day on 21 april tea parties are held in cafes pubs hotels and tea rooms across the uk Many of these events aim to encourage people to try different varieties of tea and to appreciate how, how drinking it with others can enrich their lives. Some of these events also promote sustainably produced tea and better prices and working conditions for farmers while others raise funds for different charities from the sales. However, people observe this special day. It's about appreciating the opportunity that sharing a cup of tea gives to people to connect one another. Want to know more about tea celebration this April? Search for National Tea Day on social media and remember tea drinking isn't just for April. It's always the right time for a delicious cuppa. I have read this article on topic tea. So I have here two exercise tasks here you can see. Now the first sentence is In the UK tea is mainly drunk early in the morning False This sentence is false People in Morocco generally drink less tea than people in the UK True A typical British kappa has sugar and might have milk False In the UK everyone pours the milk first and then the tea False Meeting to drink tea is a tradition in many cultures. True. Formal afternoon teas are still very common in the UK. False. We have to reorder the correct sentences because words are jumbled here in this sentence. I like to correct them in correct order. If you ever spend time in the UK, you'll surely have had a nice kappa. While it isn't, while it is an old tradition in the UK, many countries have their own strong cultural practices involving tea. It is also a popular drink in China and India, where most of the world's tea is grown. The question of when to add milk is one which still provokes many an argument. It is said that it is said that this was a for the was for the rich to show off their wealth. To sit together here, many cultures have. Traditions of people meeting to sit together and drink tea. So I have written here six sentences. Their words are jumbled and I have tried to write them correct order. I hope we have learnt this lesson very well and you have also enjoyed this lesson.